Uh, Dave Bottoms, uh, Senior Director of Products at Device VM, and I'm showing a preview version of Splashtop uh, running on a, uh, on Mego. So this is a version of Mego that's available today. We've done some tuning. This is a, uh, a Lenovo S10 3T that was announced at CES uh, this past year, and it's shipping and available today. What we've done is modify the version of Splashtop to be Mego compliant. So uh, this is a pretty standard build of uh, of Mego. We've We've added some things and done some touch optimizations. Uh, it's a very snappy operating system, as you see, just kind of moving around from uh, the different applications. We've also loaded our Splashtop Remote product on here. So uh, Splashtop Remote is an app that we released uh, about two weeks ago for the iPad. It allows a secondary device, such as an iPad, or in this case, a netbook, to access a, uh, a PC uh, remotely. So uh, I think it's actually running on, on that one. So this one is just kind of showing the uh, the different Mego implementation uh, running in a, in a touch space. And one of the things that's a lot different is that you'll now be able to add apps. Before, as you, as you got the S10 uh, 3T, you sort of got what it came with. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the uh, the Splashtop 2.0 would allow you to add some web-based apps, which would effectively link to uh, sites like Gmail or Yahoo Calendar, things like that. Uh, with the Mego version, any Mego compliant an application you'll be able to download and run in this in the Splashtop environment. So it's it's a real benefit for users. They're not just limited to the uh, to the selection of apps that run on Splashtop. Uh, they're going to be able to download and run anything that's available in the Intel App App Store. So it's great for developers as well because we, we've shipped about 40 million uh, units of Splashtop with leading OEMs already, and those guys are going to be able to update. Those end users are going to be able to uh, update to it in the first half of next year. Uh, we think. Migo is going to be a great platform for developers, and we're, we're trying to just expand the footprint so that more developers get excited and, and embrace Migo.